To be honest with you, one of the main reasons why I started this sect was to give back the horn god his testicles after being neutered by the modern pagans. And I've attempted to do the same for the druids. Now, a little bit of my own personal history, I'm, I'm of mixed heritage from English to Eastern European to Italian to Mexican to even some African. But my largest percentage is Celtic from the Irish and Scottish branches on my family tree. And from this knowledge grew an obsession with all things Celtic. The color of my hair has lightened in my old age, but as a child it was bright red. Along with freckles and green eyes, I was the standard ginger. And I hated the way I looked. That was until I discovered the Celts. And having an obsession with the Celts and the occult, the Druids were a no-brainer. Now, as I've mentioned in a recent video, when I get into something, whatever it is, I like to dig deep. And studying what is known as modern paganism, I've come to realize it's actually a reworking of Druidism. That is what we can know of Druidism, because they left no written records. Now, some of you history buffs might bring up a crude form of writing the Irish Celts used called Ogham or Om, but that was more a secret means of communication, a code, if you will, rather than a way of documenting facts. Now, instead of getting information on the Druids from the source, we've relied upon the Greeks and the Romans, enemies of the Celts, and most of what they had to say was not flattering. But today's interpretation of Druidism, those who call themselves modern Druids, they make me fucking crazy. Early on, I thought it might be interesting to join one of these modern Druidic groups, but how do you suspend your disbelief when you know it's all bullshit? Just a little digging and you realize they've whitewashed history by turning the Druids into jovial nature lovers. Just the fact they march around Stonehenge, which the Druids did not build, performing rituals and ceremonies created in the 19th century during what was called the Celtic Revival is evidence enough. And in the past 50 years or so, it's become even more watered down when the hippies tossed in their pot-induced two cents. But where do we go to find evidence as to who the Druids really were? First, let's start with what we do know. The Druids were the Celtic priests, philosophers, judges, and soothsayers who convened with the gods and divined the future. They were political advisors who had influence over the decision of kings and chieftains. They were extremely powerful in Celtic society, a society known for its beautiful art, mythology, and warrior culture, and rumors of human sacrifice. According to Caesar, the Druids believed that the gods delighted in the slaughter of prisoners and criminals, and when the supply of captives runs short, they sacrifice even the innocent. Other Roman scribes claim that the Druids choose a person for death and stab him or her in the chest above the diaphragm. By the convulsions of the victim's limbs and the spurting of blood, they foretell the future. Now, was this true or was this just anti-Celtic propaganda? The truth is, these classical reports don't even begin to compare with the gruesome evidence archaeologists have unearthed. In southern France, a Celtic sanctuary from the 3rd century BCE yield concrete evidence of severed human heads used in rituals. In this Iron Age walled fort was a cultic shrine where real and sculpted human heads were exhibited. In Britain in the 1980s, the bog mummified body of a Duretic sacrifice, Lindo Man, came to light, killed about the time of the Roman invasions. 
Then came the discovery in the year 2000 of 150 human skeletons found in a cave in England. Evidence shows that the Druids may have killed their victims in a single event. It's possible that the Roman invasion itself was responsible for the escalation and the Druids' ritualized slaughter, according to the researchers. Did the Druids do this to appease the gods, to get some help against the Romans? Now, is it fair to judge the Druids through a 21st century perspective? No, it's not fair to judge any culture of the ancient past with the values of today. That's called presentism. The Celts were a people of their time, and no matter what the modern Druids and pagans might think, it wasn't a peaceful age of happy moo-moo-clad folk in tune with nature, hugging trees, and prancing with bunnies. It was a brutal age where people did what they needed to do to survive. And if that meant appeasing the gods with human sacrifice, then so be it. 